So this is the Dripto, and uh, I was asked to check this guy out, so I'm here on a deathmatch server. I would have loved to do a growth video, but he's not exactly easy to find at the moment. And so I hopped in, and he's got a lot of slots here. So you got a basic bite, charged bite, headbutt, front limb, you got claw swipe, claw barrage, oh, charged claws, okay. Ruffled feathers, increases damage output, decreases the damage you take, rough skin, improves your bleed output, and reduces incoming bleed. Uh, I kind of want that. That sounds good. Legs, sure-footed, leap, distance runner. Distance runner is usually the best way to go. Kick, just medium damage. Don't know if I'm going to be using that. And then tail, no, let's go with balanced. Now the question is what I'm going to do for these. I kind of feel like going with the headbutt and the charge bite. And then for the front limb, let's do... Let's do the claw swipe, the charge claws. Um, okay. So there's head, what, claw attack, kick, wow there's going to be a lot of commands on this one, charge bite, and charge claws, do that, and then for the skin, for kicks and giggles, let's see what we got, Oni's kind of cool, whoa, okay, I love that, very cool. that. Ooh, that is slick. Nice. So my first reaction to this thing is that I really like the model. This is a very nice dino. The turn um, seems pretty good. So we got our headbutt. Got our claw attack. So the headbutt uses a bit of stam. So does the kick. And then I imagine the, uh, the charge attacks do too. Okay. So obviously everyone's going to have their own preferences, but I did some messing around. Um, and I, I obviously changed the location of the attacks. In my opinion, um, the charge bite is absolutely having on deck. It, it's a powerhouse. It lets you hit up really hard. Uh, you got to be careful using the headbutt. The headbutt does have knockback, which is nice, but it uses stamina. And um, the cooldown for the charged attack is pretty rough, too. In fact, I think I'm going to swap out the kick. Since I'm running the headbutt, I'm going to swap out the kick for the uh, charged claws. Because you can get some pretty good feed going with that. Uh, but I, I've gotten into a few little fights. Um, just sort of testing this thing out, and I'm starting to get a feel for it. Hopefully I can get a few good fights on camera, um, and I can give you a more in-depth uh, review of this thing, I guess, or my thoughts on it. So far I'm having a blast. This is a lot of fun. how fast that charge attack builds up though. I gotta say that. Most charge attacks take a bit longer than that. Yeah, they're for real.
So now I'm thinking, don't bother with the headbutt or the kick at all, because the DPS on your regular bite is actually really good. Um, I mean, you hit with the charge bite, that does a ton of damage, but then you can get a ton of little bites in, and you just burn through stuff that way. I mean, I've, I've fought Mapes and Serratos, mostly alternating between those two, maybe the occasional, you know, claw attack, quick claw attack, I don't even bother with the charged one, really. And, uh... With those three attacks, you can layer on a ton of bleed. This thing layers bleed really fast with that regular claw attack. And then obviously your charge bite does a ton of damage. You can get a ton of these little bites off. It's got like a one second cooldown. I mean, you're fast, you're maneuverable. You outturn like aloes, dasps, mapes. The only problem that the drip has is uh, you're frail. You have really low combat weight and really low health, but in every other way, you're a very solid attacker. And in fact, it reminds me a lot of the conch, like a better conch, albeit not an aquatic one. You know, you can't dive or anything like that, but you inflict bleed, you're speedy, you can get around pretty quick and get a lot of hits off. It's very similar. how that guy just gave up. <laughs> he was like, this thing can outturn me all day. I always feel bad when players stop like that, but at the same time, that was kind of earned. So if you alternate between the claw and the fast bite, you can do a lot that way too. So, some final thoughts on this guy. Um, I can only speak from a solo player's perspective here, but you have a lot of ways you can potentially run it. I think it's a uh, it's a mid-tier, for sure. Um, it does have a lot of capability to punch up, I think. As I mentioned, you're fast, you know, you can stack bleed quickly, you have high, you know, one-shot damage output, and, and even sustain damage output if you spam the regular attack. You can alternate between the regular attack and the claw attack until your charge bite comes back. Um, if you wanted to run the headbutt uh, for the knockback or the kick to kind of close the gap a little quicker, you can do that. A lot of cool stuff you can do with this guy. The biggest issue is the frailty, and that's to be expected. He's pretty small. Um, so... I mean, if you are going to try and punch up, you've always got to be aware that anything bigger than you is going to be hurting a lot. You've got pretty low combat weight and really low health. Not much you can do about that, and I think that's the only thing that really brings this thing down. Um, it's a ton of fun to play, though. I, I've really enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, if, if you like what you see here, you'll give it a shot as well and let me know what you think. But I think that's going to do it for this one. I've been messing around with some other modded dinos and having a blast with them, so... I'm probably going to work on a video about one of them next. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and have a great day.